to the move on academic counseling for open and distance learning for real learners. This series of video is on roles and responsibilities of the academic counselors in ODL system. And in this particular video, we shall focus on prerequisites and preparations required for academic counseling sessions. Open and distance learning institutions have developed this system of academic counseling to interact, guide, and advise the distance learners on both academic and non-academic issues. Distance learners experience both course-related and academic difficulties during their studies. The course-related difficulties are related to choosing the paper, understanding the seat structure, and academic difficulties are contributing. Academic counselors act as a facilitator for distance learners and play an important role of guiding the learners in overcoming the various hurdles and difficulties during their academic program. Academic counselor is a qualified teacher in his or her area of study and works in a higher education institution wherein the study centers are established. Apart from the qualification, the functions of an academic counselor are well defined in ODL system. Academic counselors need to work in close coordination and harmony with the coordinators of the study centers, but to fulfill the roles and responsibilities of an academic counselor, there are certain prerequisites. Let's understand these. The first one which we actually know is that academic counseling is different from conventional classroom teaching. The academic counselor needs to understand this difference between the academic counseling in the ODL system and teaching in conventional system. The next, if we talk about, is pedagogy of instruction. It is different from conventional education system than that of the ODL system. It is required for an academic counselor to be well versed with the overall ODL instruction system in general and any university system in particular. Academic counselor must be aware of the self-learning needed to bear by the ODL institution, either in print form or non-print, that is audio or video materials so that he or she can use the learning material and also guide the learners properly. Academic counselors should be oriented towards the evaluation methodology adopted by the university, like continuous assessment through self-check questions in self-learning material, assignments related to the course, uh, marking the assignments, and term or semester and examinations. Academic counselors should have awareness about the credit system of the university and other rules, norms of university for governing students' problems. And to fulfill these prerequisites, the ODL Institute can organize a training program for orienting the newly selected academic counselors. There are some specific responsibilities which an academic counselor has to fulfill. These responsibilities can vary from one institution to the other. The first and foremost is conducting the counseling sessions. Academic counselor has to train the distance learners in distance study methods and important study skills. Academic counselors need to maintain record of learners allotted, like their contact details that is phone number, email ID, address, etc. Attendance records for the assigned sessions and records of compiling SLM, self-check questions, course related uh, preparedness, interactivity in the group and individually, and assignment submission. He or she has to track the overall academic progress of the learners assigned in the respective course of the program. Evaluation of the assignments, practicum, project, if there is any in the program, 
internship, if there is availability for internship available, and other field works as prescribed in the respective course is also one of the responsibilities of the academic counselor. Supervision of the learners during the internship and its successful completion is also one of the responsibilities of the academic counselor. Giving feedback to the learners during the counseling sessions and on assignments through the written comments, coordinating with the coordinator of the study center and giving feedback on counseling sessions and assignment evaluation. These are the roles and responsibilities of an academic counselor. These will be discussed in detail in the next video. Prior to that, we will talk about the preparations needed to be done for by the academic counselors. Academic counselors need to ensure the preparedness of academic counselors himself and the preparedness of learners. Now, first we will talk about preparation of the academic counselors themselves. Academic counselors should have, first of all, the good knowledge of the course. They shall acquaint themselves with the program, course, guide, and with other course material, including self learning material, printed or non printed, that is, audio, video, or any other uh, form, and other required components of the courses. Academic counselors shall go through the assignments prior to the counseling to make the healthy discussions on the assignments during the counseling session. They shall be well informed about the university and its rules and regulations and other relevant information to facilitate students during their academic program or course. They shall deal with learners sincerely and try to create sustained interest in the course and counseling session. Now we will be talking about the preparation of learners for the academic counseling. We need to ensure access of study materials by the learners, program guide and assignments. Basically, these all should be available to the learners when they start the program or the course. Okay, the counselors need to make sure that learners have detailed knowledge of program structure. They also need to ensure that learners are aware of the learning philosophy to be followed during the counseling sessions. It may be challenging in the beginning, as many distance learners will be new to the system. At that time, the learners would need more of general counseling than the subject specific counseling. Academic counselors shall ensure that learners have a detailed schedule of counseling sessions and units to be covered in each session. Ensure that learners are aware of aims and objectives of each counseling session. Learners shall be aware of the tasks expected from them during the counseling session. Learners shall be informed about university rules in general and about regular attendance in the counseling session in the particular. Academic counselors shall inform the learners about the multimedia inputs offered by the university, such as interactive video counseling. Teleconferencing, web conferencing, open educational repository, and library facility, and also like Gyanarshan and Gyanwani channels in case of IGNU. So, this is basically university specific availability of resources which a learner must do. Learner must have knowledge of calendar of the university activity, including Submission of assignment, submission of fee, term and examination forms, registration, re registration of forms, etc. Learners shall also be aware of the university's website and learning management system, if any available with the university. So, friend, that is the uh, end for this uh, particular video. In the next video, we shall be doing organizing counseling sessions. Thank you.